So a week later, they came and they said, your son has a problem. We are about to operate him. And we're like, what's the problem? He said, they said he has a throat. So after the throat, there's a tube from the throat which joins to the stomach. So our son's tube was this short. It just stops here. So when you feed him with, through the mouth, the food goes through his lungs. Ah, Togozani, guys. Sanbonani, Dumelan, Absheni, hello. Yes, and today I don't want to do the introduction, Shim. No, 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 no. Should I do it? You are going to do the full introduction. Yeah. Togozani, 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 Togozani. Hello, good people. Uh, welcome to the Venting Podcast. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, like if you like the video. And then please don't forget to join and pay the money. It start from 20 bucks. Yeah. And then don't forget to invite your friends to invite other, other, other friends. And shout out to you guys for making one of the videos to reach 1 million. We love you, the Ventures. We love you, the Scottishies. <laughs> Scottish. Scottish. <laughs> yeah. Scottish. Yeah, I guess Scottish Oh, okay. Yeah. Scottish. Thank you so much for the love. We appreciate you guys. We're doing this for you guys every time. G. Doing this for you. Keep on, keep on supporting us. And then I've seen, I've noticed Gucci. There's a video, I think I got, I got sign or I got turned. It's, it's close to a million. I got turned, yeah. Yeah, and I got sign. Yeah. So please, guys. Invite your friends, share with your friends, man. Please, thank you so much, guys. We love you. Okay, for our first time, uh, I give well you done. uh, six out of ten. Six out of ten, yeah. I'm gonna improve, man. I'm gonna master <laughs> my skills. Man, anyway. Hi, Justice. Yo, what's up? What's what's up? up? There's the voice. Actually, Actually, I'm having flu, I'm having flu, guys. So, eh? can I have the voice? Actually, not today, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, today I want us to talk about us oh, yeah. and. Uh, our kids, you know, kids or kid. Our kid, yes. maybe along the way will involve other kids, but yeah, us now, in general. Let's make it about point. You know, I about to a point. Point, yeah. Okay, so today we're going to give you guys the highlight about the inside info about our last born. His name is Monde Junior. Um, he's one year five months now. And yeah, I think you guys want to know the yeah. purpose of this video, of this uh, podcast, this specific one, this episode is mm -hmm. to teach young mothers and any mothers and men as well that when you get a challenge of a sick baby, I think we must motivate you that it's going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, man. And yeah, that and that, you know, like they said, the other time, especially with you, everyone expects to go to um, pregnant or was over them done. Yeah, figure, give birth, I call a coolism done, then that's it. Yeah, we didn't expect to go to suspect after giving birth, you stay special, and then you know, sure, after four hours, they tell you, hey, we have a major problem. Yeah, because that was the first time, season. Okay, wait, yeah, it then. was. Take me back. I want you to take uh, me back. Okay, so Wait, take me back. 2022. Take uh, me back to 2022. 2022, 11 April. I'll take you back there. I'll not forget the dates. Mm. 2022, 11 April, Beslele, and around 4 a.m. I just woke up. I didn't have pains. I just wanted to go pee. Because when you're pregnant, you pee a lot. So I went to, to the bathroom. Nyakama. Umkamo didn't come out smelly or I was having pains. No, it was normal uh, urine. And then as I was, after Umkama, as women, we wipe ourselves, right? So after wiping myself, I noticed brown, uh, reddish uh, discharge. And then I took a pic and then I, I called you. I woke you up and then you were like, what are we doing? Are you in pain? I'm like, no, I'm not in pain. Then we called, luckily, we we had the very best 
gynecologist mm. oh, Dr. Di Papang. He, mm. he was very shout out to Dr. Papang. Shout out to Dr. Di Papang from Harrismith Busamet. Mm. He was the best. So I called him around that time, 4 a.m. And he said, uh, come to the office. Come to my workspace. If you are in pain, I said, I'm not in pain. He said, okay, come around eight. Mm. He was off, but he said, I'm coming. Mm. Then we went there. I was not in pain. I slept normally. We went there. And then when I got there, he said, no. You checked me. Then he said, admission. Yeah, I need to treat that, yeah, right? I mm. And yeah, yeah, he treated me. That was 11 April. He treated me. Then the following day in the morning, obviously throughout the night, the sisters are checking me. He's also coming to check me. And shout out also to the sisters there. They, they were very good. Yeah, they were very, really very good. good. And then... I still, I didn't have pains, you know, but the bleeding stopped. The discharge, it was not a serious bleeding. It was a discharge and then it stopped. And then I took a bath in the morning. They said, doctor is coming to discharge me. I took a bath in the morning, called you. And then you said, okay, let me go buy food for you. Then I'll be back. Then you went to buy food. And then I dressed up, you know, took some of my things. And then I was sitting on top of the bed at the hospital. And then I'm waiting for the doctor to come sign the papers and you also went to buy me food. So I started sneezing, you know, I just sneezed. And when I sneezed, I felt like, you know, sometimes when you sneeze, you feel like there's urine coming out. So I felt like, ish, nothing is coming. Then I quickly went to the bathroom because I was in a private room. So there was a bathroom inside my ward. So I quickly went to the bathroom. So man, yes, you see paint. You know, I took down my underwear. There's blood, like serious blood. Mm. And now I can feel it's more is coming. Now I, 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 I took my hand. I started touching my private parts. And then I felt clots, like a lot of clots. So I didn't understand what, is it my baby's head or what? And then I just stood up like that. I didn't see the emergency button there by the... Mm -hmm. bathroom oh by the, bed. Yeah. Oh, by the bathroom, bathroom. it's okay, there yeah. at the toilet <coughs> so i'm holding my private part with my hand so that my daughter my my son doesn't because i didn't know whether it's a son or uh, a boy or a girl so yeah by that time i didn't know mm -hmm. remember it was after we were skeptical we were shooting mm -hmm. so i was not supposed to know right so after that ngabamba we sent the sam ngabamba and then Mangit and Asem Yango can do no sister Ongena, Magat, what's he? Pes gompete. Wa biza bany and then Banko Kabang Bega Pes gompete. There was just blood all over. And they called you, doctor is there now. Like my room is just full now. Mm -hmm. And two minutes you are there as well. And the only thing I remember was just crying. I was oh, just yeah, crying. I but I was not crying because I'm in pain. I was not in pain. I did not have labor pain. So what could you learn? I was crying because I know I'm not Jew. I'm six months pregnant. Seven. Seven months. Oh, sorry. I'm seven months pregnant. And already I'm bleeding. I'm thinking maybe when I went to the bathroom, I'm thinking maybe the bathroom. So I like, but my tummy was the thing is my tummy was going down a bit. Oh. So I thought Upumi Levele. You. So, yeah, then you came. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so when they came, they, when you came, mm. they, and then they said you have to give birth. They now. said it's an emergency. It's an emergency. I have emergency to give birth what? now. They said I couldn't give birth naturally because I was going to lose a lot of blood. and mm, blah, blah, blah. Because you've already. Because I've already, I was already blood, bleeding. Like, mm. Yeah. So they took me to the emergency room and um, I gave birth. So as I was giving birth, obviously they, they were doing a C-section. So as I was doing, as I was giving birth, you were just close to me. And I said to you, I'm feeling pain. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And already, they have already injected me not to feel pain. They are delivering the baby through C-section. I said, I'm feeling pain. And you said, wait, I said, no, not on my legs, not on my private parts. I'm feeling pain. 
like up my chest, my chest, la. Bo 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 kala la, yeah. Yeah, and he said no, I must relax, and he told the doctor. Then the doctor said, okay, it's fine. He knew why he said that. I had the doctor telling because it, it was two doctors. I had mm. the doctor saying to the other one, it's difficult to deliver this baby. Mm. And I told you, I said, doctor said this. You said, no, man, baby, relax. Amara, uh, at that point, I couldn't tell you good button because I need to in the folder and you know, I could see you. Yeah. So, because I remember they didn't take that long. Yeah. But no, boy, they were taking that long. And I bought my mom because I remember when I was in the corner, I was like, yeah. So, I bought my mom and I was like, I'm going to let that page change. So Bengbo no good they struggling but I couldn't tell you because bo kala ngapha nini I wanted you to be calm Come, as possible yeah, yeah that's why I'm actually good na relax like na nix Yeah and 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 it, it, the delivery took long but eventually boy came out you know and honestly that's all I remember I, I the rest I don't remember I think I passed out Yeah you did because after that after bam tikilivi lu po nga nga mpeka the peace in he was so small the peace bam faka la ma pipe la ku train is in to nin for him to breathe yeah for la um faka la um so so mean cuz ngo lena nga kha chambili call code but no boy at dinner i don't know why no bam faka le zinto le zo and then because you were tired wa hama ngitsa i mean but the baby is fine and then i had to go and it mean a hamba and then i think they called me where go did you go to the icu with the baby azang bayi bakukhombe sumbedi ukuthi ukuphi ulele kumuphi umbedi boy they did and then ngisho ukuthi ngahamba ngithi after special left ukuthi sebe share with the baby is fine now wala na hamba and then i think the next day the next day they called us but it's figured no i was there well and then they called us but So we we having a problem yeah man. there's something and then that's when the doctor started started drawing guti umuntu njani ngaphakathi normal person is born with the what's this you so focus yeah but in this case they suspecting because they've noticed guti umabazamu kumfakibisi alpu ali Ali pansil qualim lumin in the Akameg. Yeah. And then they told us to it's not a normal thing. Like one out of four babies are babanjalo. Like I I I I saw alone. And I was so confused because like when this was with you, go in Zagala Nila Mara. Because man, you mean I'm expecting good to come to an answer concise you sharp money. Tambazo still with you know Zosa la la especially for his catchness gaga because he premature. I want you to okay in. And then now man just like veling your problem and then on some come like that exact details and then but he meles organize cause one of a con meles organize in double good smelling a plum funding. Helicopter. But it's it's proper if it's going to be a helicopter because it's going to be faster but the problem is because the boy because basically I'm fag medical aid oh yeah and then our data it was cash mm. and now we have to organize helicopter so the sisters are calling to get a coach a helicopter and then i think it was it was 50 no it is uh 86 86 and then Amlens was 25 and then Amlens was 30 was 30 so to to transport the baby from where from, from um, Harris me to Plumfontein we're talking Fante. about like 4 kilometers that was 4 f- kilometers yeah 4 kilometers from Harris me to Plum it's not 40 but for 4 kilometer no, no no not kilometers 4 hours oh, oh. Oh. oh yeah 4 hours yeah so it was an 4 hours drive So it was an emergency like they he needs he to, needed uh, the big machines now the big machines now ukuthi kumele kumele akwazi ukuthi uma bam transport like he, he needed a special ambulance ukuthi yeah. lo isn't the kumele be right to go ambulance like helicopter and then and then like she's saying that the helicopter was 80000 and then the ambulance was 30000 to muni wari utumi utilize nge cash because boy I get no it was medical I had aid. Medi- no. I had medical aid, right? But 
I had medical late, so I it didn't cover my pregnancy. So oh boy is bought. She, he got no, Uli, Uliana, we paid cash, baby. No, boy, medical aid was a corner. No, no, but as as I'm a calf, we paid cash. What did Papa? Everything was cash. We paid cash. We paid cash for oh boy. After that, we paid cash when I was given birth, right? Then I had a medical aid, but it did. It was a waiting period. I had to wait for nine months to 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 be activated to give birth. But other things I could do. I could go to a hospital, I could oh, do this, but... Oh, because I can't say, let me call it, and then... Yeah, because we had problems with the first one. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. after that, when boy was born, we had to do a birth certificate. I couldn't go to home affairs. I did go, Because I was Mina, still in the, hospital. I did go, Mina, and then they said, no, they need us both. And they were not such a special, like, no, can't be special, which so can't get the certificate. And then, and a cool, and a medical aid, if una, ID, ID, IPA certificate, IPA certificate, yeah. And as can't get the certificate. I'm in hospital. We told me she's in hospital, she has to be in hospital because I'm doing a cool, like, I'm going to my mark, I'm going to get the data. So the medical aid, I got to me, it couldn't cover the baby. It, it could, but it, it could, wanted but paperwork. E per certificate. Yeah. I can't do it alone. Yeah, I'm going to figure home affairs and by explaining you to know the mother is in the hospital. They're like, no, she needs to be here. Umawi ends, you can't do it alone. I'm like, okay, here's the ID. No, because of thing I got my fingerprint to work. And then I tried we would in and they said no. And then so, now we have to pay cash. And obvious we can't take the eighty thousand with the helicopter thing. We took the ambulance. We took the ambulance. So the ambulance was thirty K. Yeah. So Sahamba and I think it was no when now they discharge you the same day for your ham. They discharge you go to my car who cares in because when Bo Hamba Nam came out. Oh, yeah, we followed the ambulance actually. Ambulance be Hamba Pambil and then when a Bamba Nam came out to bloom. Yeah, and was it 30 or 25? I think you're right in 25 years. Somewhere there, anyway. Yeah. 20, 25, 30, 30, the ambulance. Yeah. So we followed the ambulance. We followed the ambulance to Plumfontaine, but obviously, we get and we suffer And then after that, uh, and he, now, who put the government hospital? Uma, uma figa a plum. Yeah, shout out to University's Hospital. U- University's Hospital, but there. The good thing about him being lapo is just it's it's next to the university. So our professor. But say university, but practice Allah. So university is, is just a good hospital. It, it has is, a lot. Of, the very same uh, uh, doctors you get in a private in a private hospital, hospital they are the same. Yeah. So yeah, he went to ICU, and he stayed there. Yo, he stayed there. So we booked because they didn't uh, accommodate me, and we booked a hotel there. We stayed in Plum. And I'm still in pain. Um, actually, I never healed uh, after my pregnancy. I never... You never got time to heal, actually. No, I had to walk through my pain and walk to the hospital, see my son. And every time when I get there, there, there were a lot of babies in the ICU. Every time when I get there, he was okay, well taken care of, full of machines, not even seeing his face sometimes. And there was a point where I thought he doesn't have, he doesn't have lips. My, my son doesn't have lips. And I never heard his voice that time. And they a week later they came back and said they're gonna wait, baby. Can you explain what was the problem? Because we, we I'm said, about to. Oh yeah. Yeah. So a week later they came and they said, Your son has a problem. We are about to operate him. And we're like, what's the problem? He said, they said he has a throat. So after the throat, there's a tube from the throat which joins to the stomach. So our son's tube was this short. It just stops here. So when you feed him with, through the mouth, the food goes through his lungs. Mm-mm. Wait, wait, let me explain it. I'm explaining it to you. It's this short, right? So the food does not go straight to the tummy because this thing is short. And at at that time, he was not eating. They were not feeding him when he got to the hospital. He was having TPN. 
TPN, as they explain it to us, it's something that gives him all the nutrition the nutrition he needs on his body. It's so like they're doing it through mm. a drip. He gets TPN. He was not eating. So it's just nutrition for his body. So they said they're going to open his tummy here and insert a peck tube. They call it a peck tube. It's a small little tube. They insert it. And then they, we're going to feed him through the tube and they're going to teach us how we feed him. Right? So every time when you feed him, the food must go through the tube to the stomach state, not from here. Then when he swallows his saliva, obviously even the saliva was going to sit here and cause chest problems. So they had to open here so that when he, the saliva must go somewhere because it couldn't go here. It was going to block his chest. So they opened him here and every time when he swallows, the, the saliva would come out from here. Yeah. Sort of a hole now. Yeah, he had a hole here. So there's this Yusufakas. This Yusufakas growth. I'm, I'm not sure the name. So by Jixi Legaja, this Enga Pelilanga, by Legila, Avulila. So when he swallows Kalek Puma is alive, Anna. Yeah. And yeah. we'd feed him through the pack tube, but they said they'll teach us how to. Okay, it was, it was, it was. I, my mind was still all over the place. Honestly speaking, it was emotional for me, emotional for him. It was just all over the place. And honestly speaking, when such things happen, you want answers. You know, so keep on asking doctors, like, what happened? Why is he born like that? And they were like, it doesn't you know, normally happen. Study shows it happens to one or four babies. And, but there is always a solution, right? It's better for them to do the pack trip than him not to eat at all. And they did the operation. And I remember his first operation when he came out. It was still small and yeah. it was a success. But we waited. It, it took four hours. We waited. We waited. We waited. And everyone in the hospital, the nurses, they were like, no, he's in very good hands. The doctor's very good with kids and operations, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we, we, we stayed there. And he came out. We were happy and they said the operation went well. But he was not up yet. He was not awake yet. And they woke him up later on. And we saw him. Then we went. He, he was this small, I think. And then Kavang was seeing a baby on guard. And then he says, Susu Futagil, he has an operation. He's already in pain on guard. Yeah. So when, in life, when they say fight like a premature, yeah, yeah, there was a pig brain yeah. Fight like a premature because you fight to 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 live. You fight for certain organs to, to remember when you are pregnant, the mother supports you into getting all these things. You understand? The 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 the, the nutrition the, for her to, to for you to be okay, she eats, she gets folic acid pills and all that. But now as a premature, you are fighting for these organs to develop by themselves. Mm. So he went through a lot and he was in pain, you could see. But every time he's in pain, they'll give him something for pain. And yeah, we drove back to Harrismith. So we were going to to Plum almost every week. We we stayed in Plum for like three weeks now. After the yeah, we stayed for three weeks. We stayed for like and three weeks. at that particular time then we went to Harrismith and stayed for like two weeks and then went back to Plum food. Yeah. Mm. And it was not easy at that time. I myself couldn't even deal with my own operation. Sometimes months later, my operation is bleeding because I couldn't like take care of it. You know, mm. my legs would just swallow up and all that. It's just a lot. Mm. And yeah, we came back to, we stayed in Plum for three weeks. Ne? Then we came back we to Harry Smith. Yeah. We left the baby there. You left the baby Plum. Yeah. And we would drive Every now he and stayed then. in uh, investors mm. for how many months? Two. Two months. Yeah. And then we were, we were done in the medical later after the time because the operation was right. Do you remember the? F do you remember? See, uh, especially Alexeni, and we see Jagu to see Ahamba same day. But we share more to know how we can do one because at the end, we see Bangasa from Mutin Gena in the world. So you yeah. go alone. Why? Oh my boy, I'm going to look. But I'm telling you, Sam, do you remember that moment? I remember. 
Do you remember that moment? I remember we both cried because they said, you are being discharged. And we didn't expect it. And we didn't expect it because he was still small. He was so small. He was small. I remember this. Ititi. Umakotlisa. Sibiyuzi umakotlisa. Stata. Yeah. Bailinga na nubuso ba. Like. No, a small thing like that, but being and I, I, I was not happy. I was not. I was not scared to hold him. My first time holding him, I was not scared. And yeah, we went home. And when we obviously before that at the hospital, they taught us how to feed him. Right, I was taught through the peg tube. I was taught. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which how did I learn on how to feed him. No, my being like I told you. No, no you okay. didn't attend any classes because you're not allowed. Being a child go to how to. The next time you you were taught, it, the doctor taught you the, the the surgeon after when we went to the second checkup. When we didn't know what you can clean it, you can do this, you can do that. That's when the doctor even. But besides that, I would take videos ya kumbul. I'll take videos when they were teaching me and all that. So now automatically I think it happens man as a parent Guti, you fall into this because now you had tricks but so I'm tricks on how to feed him. So we got home and and the pipe chuk unga wa umtana unento la and then yamba ne pipe ne and then umam feed a ufagi syringe and then ufagi bis and then you wait till level as you say la so yeah it goes down so level as you say. And um, once it gets mad, no masilla, Magakal, Wakal, and Janin. Good, I look up where I go. So, yeah. So, every time when you feed him, you had to make sure what he's in happy mood, happy mood, or he's in a good state in Joguchi. It was best if I led. Yeah. It was easy. And honestly learn. speaking, that would make us fight on our own because, yeah, because so to. It was like in some minds in tung bone and too wrong. Now mangins in tung bone and nothing wrong or anything. Because Yeah, we fought a lot. I And it, don't worry, the time slot was eight. Every after three hours. Every after three hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Eleven, two. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, two. Mm. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. Five. Five. Come on, Kajan. so yeah. How does it feel as a parent, whether a dad, Monday, and a mom, to me, seeing your child in that tube? I don't know whether they call it a tube or something. It's a tube. It's a tube. And you see your child there, and you get to hear the doctors tell you that your baby is okay, but there are complications. How does it, let me just start with you, Monday. How does it hit you mentally? How does it feel? For somebody that doesn't know, I think a lot of people, whether it be their mother or their dad, they always think, they always know the feeling of, oh, your baby's fine and they're happy, they can't wait to go. But how does it feel when the doctor comes to you and say, look, there's a problem here? Monde, I just want to start with you. Yo, bro, like, for me, I had so many questions, like, I was dead, like, I feel next justice, but I had so many questions with you. Because like do we tried everything for you. Like we tried everything. She was eating healthy. I, I, I was forever buying corn and I'm a pili so with pregnant. But I'm forever attending the doctor. So I was like, what's happening? I had so many questions. Even now I still ask myself, Guti. And for you corner one to aba pools we have to put my health. So I what's happening? Like when when like where to was that? Where to was that? Like like And uh understand what is a premature. After look, he has to go for an operation. Like I had so many questions given. And obviously, and I can't show me. 
how much it's hitting me because I can see she's going through a lot here. Yeah. I can see Nyambona Lomut is going through it. Every night to do Tinle Lumuntia Kala or in a drive and she starts crying and then she asks, and then Velama complications and I'm like, obviously, maybe I'm not meant to have a boy. Why boy gets like a so good? Oh, I'm fine. Like, there was a point just this where. We all would just go with the flow and expecting no oh my there was a point where I was planning a funeral in my head. In my head. Yeah. And I was Both planning a funeral <laughs> in my head and then planning good, okay, if this happens, how am I gonna comfort him? Because we're saying each other, okay, it is what it is. Yeah. No matter phone, especially saying it's okay. We train financially, man, how are we gonna do it? Since sh my calculations with okay. So if you never really sings about no two mutin comfort and things about and you would say I was already giving me Jeb saying it was okay, whatever happens, the swang it I was dead in sir. Sing it no my in Zaga line. I yen said. Do me how how Yeah, I was angry. I was angry, I was angry. I was angry at I was angry at my ancestors, you know. Um I was angry at God. Uh, not the world, because I know the world is cruel. But I was angry at God. I was angry at my ancestors. You know, with me, just this, I can do whatever. But when it comes to God and my ancestors, yo, I'm one faithful person. Like, I'm faithful to these people. You know, I'm faithful. Um, I'd, everything I do, I feel like God and my ancestors are watching. So I don't want to make mistakes. A mis- yes, I'm a person, I make mistakes, but I don't want to make a mistake when it comes to anything in it, lose anything in my ancestors and in a in, 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 in God parrot. So I remember Monday, this other day, we had, they called us emergency, go plum, and we drove. He had to fetch me a, a Marondo, and I was working, and I had clients, he had to fetch me then. We left. Then on my way, I, I told him, I need to speak to my ancestors. Please, let's go pass her somewhere in an open field. Then we went there. And then I remember kneeling down and I said to, to my sisters, you know what? You guys are shaming me because like I literally do everything for you. And you guys are not giving me answers. And then I said to them, take your gift. If this gift cannot heal me, it can never heal the nation. So take your gift. I said, I'm angry. I told them, I'm angry at you in Kwatele. Like, why? Why do this to my son? Is there anything that I did? If there is, then I'm sorry. But I knew that I played by the books. So what's wrong? And then Monday kept on saying, no, don't speak like that. I, was like, I said, you know what? I, I spoke my mind with them. It's fine. Then we left, went to Blom. So with me, honestly speaking, ever since my son got in hospital and then in Dumbeni, kids started coming for help. Then I'd get frustrated because after that I went to work. I didn't rest because I felt like I need to keep busy. Then I went to work. So every time I would be angry and I'll tell Monday that uh, there's a child who came and I healed that child. Like why am I capable of healing other people's kids? I don't believe in the saying because I've been healing myself with all the things that mm. I've faced in my life. So why can't I heal my son? So yeah, I kept on, I kept my, my, my faith, my faith remained, but I, I had questions and, and God didn't answer. Yeah, and yeah. my sisters didn't answer. Funny enough, they came back to me and said, my son is fine. And, my sister said, my son is fine. And God said, my son is fine. Then I told Monday, because I thought there's a help that I need to use. There's something I need to use for my son. And my sister said, he's at a good place. He's okay. I mustn't do anything. And, yo, oh, being it faster. Being it faster, being it faster, being it faster, being it faster. And, at the end of the day, I said, okay, if you say my son is okay, then fine. 
I was just angry. And then, yeah, and then we came back, still Usep Blom, and now he's at a private hospital. No. We came back, Saba, now you can... Oh, yeah. He got we discharged. We came back, Saba. He stayed in Manta. Just look at the memories now. He was discharged... Was discharged near 16th of May, so we stayed a month. That's better. Yeah, so he the, came back. Because this is the first time I say, uh, say Kyla. Yeah. So when he came back, they said they're going to discharge him. No, they said we must bring him back for, uh, what? For checkups. So we have the best nanny, shame. She, shame. she was hands on as well. Now I'm feed her. Guys, it's not in the pool, me. Ah, on that, go on, on, on that. So we're driving to. I'm just gonna tell you, We're driving to lie at your work. We're driving as a justice. Best year happy. At some, I was invited somewhere. Hey, la my event la money la. So say I got right to point like we we use two point and they. We're not following the routine as a Italian would say every after three hours. My sister's in feed and you go to your other, you can sleep throughout the night. So we're driving, we're driving. I remember driving so fast and then Sasanga and my traffic cop, my vision, my traffic cop, and then they told me to let's be thinking about us. That's what I said. It's not negotiable, and they can't write me a ticket. Mailing a jelly, and then I was on a man, young man, and I see ambulance. My son is sick. Sharp, my traffic cop, I understand. I would see merchants, daddy duties. Sharp, shoot. I kid you not to my sister. On our way back, Sarah Smitty must be a best in his driver because one joke in parking mode because when I was so tired, being humble, guys, must be a. We got a call from Ubang Nashel Wuti. It should be a good boy. From the hole. I was so mad. Niti why I'm making niyanza excuse ngom tan ngoti akule and then now I'm tan. No, mama jana. Cause I was driving, but me I was driving cause some cartelle go ya no. He was driving one twenty. Mama jana, what you can pack a side in try. Yo. Hey, many I can manage it. Must figure some serious meeti especially la. My figures especially about about penny can about buzzing because so many hole now you, you can, can see, see the hole, hole from the tummy. So this thing who mind gonna in gonna from this na panje and then you gonna go time. So it pull me and now we see the inside. You know? And you can smell because obviously after the gigan the process in the milk and everything you can smell the food. And then that was the second time for two weeks. Me le babi is a ambulance. Mara now we're on medical. Now we had a medical. Yeah, it's we are now he got medical. transferred to a private hospital in Bloom, not university. Oh, anymore. no, yeah, in Bloom, and then now I'm going to eat you. Yeah, I mean, I'm following the ambulance. Like saying, we must figure the doctors telling us, with, you shouldn't panic, guys. This thing is, you should, you should just, that's what we are born with. And then he's, he started crying, you know, and they and kept him they for the night, us. though. Just to monitor it. To monitor and then it, we got discharged it. the following day. So, ah! Uh, and then the doctor showed us how to clean it, how to do what, how to, you can take the tube out and do what. So, Monday was very professional about it. So now, I was very clicky, clicky, and Like was, I, uh, I would say, no, me pumil and veling you, but Yeah, so now, now I say pumil, the tube, I'm going to have legs. I say, pop, again. He would cry, though. He would cry, but simply say fast about it. And honestly speaking, what I can tell you guys, Uguti, when you've got such challenges as 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 a parent, as a mother, as a father, you fight amongst yourselves because yeah, you don't because have answers. Yeah. And they will say you're not doing it right in Sesialo. Hey, why Uta You know things like that. When he feeds him, I'm like, come on, and. Mistakenly, EBC will lose or critique one way or two, and he will start saying, "Abona, you could be smanger." You know, like would always make each other uncomfortable around us. But funny enough, if sometimes I'll knock off and sleep, and Mondo will come and feed him alone, and he'll do it perfect, and he will knock off and sleep, and I'll feed him alone. I'll do it perfect. So it shows that we did not trust each other when it comes to him.
We omunye nomunye begana lento kuti I can do it on my own and I can do it better. You don't know. Nae ati you don't know. So that on its own would cause a bit of conflict. But the son, I I know that conflict was out of we both want the best. But I'm 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 just trying to warn aba aba zali not. Manje kuti banga kwa nzambe kuti. Ninga kwa bani. Yeah, ninga kwa bani kuti street or cause kuti tak tete. No, it happens especially umtu ana magana mat difficulties and also. Just because we were fighting about it, I don't like you guys to fight about it. I don't okay. think it's good for mm. Mtana Magakata Vela. I know women. But first, I know Magakata Vela who told Mtana on my difficulties, you'll feel like the man is not doing enough no matter how hard they do it. You'll feel like they're not there. No man has been out 24 hours. So also, to me, I'm going to be Lisa. At that present moment, you can be there for 24 hours, but honestly speaking, you are invisible because the load is heavy to, for them for the woman. I'm not only saying woman to nine abantu beslisa. I know it's heavy, but for a woman, you must understand what we bond with these kids from. As I say, three less sweet. So you know the developments. You know what you're expecting. Already, one of my scans. You want to hold your baby, Magakatak Vela. So the trauma becomes worse on us. It becomes too heavy because we feel like you have failed. It's never the man's responsibility if umta nagaveli agal or if you have a miscarriage. You always blame yourself. I looked at myself. I was like, was I working too hard? What was I doing? Like even today, I ask myself, look, what what the fuck happened? Mm. You know. Uh, but the studies show that it has nothing to do with stress. During a miscarriage, you I was stressed. Mm. This happened. This happened. But on this one, no, it was not. It's not, it was not my fault. So, ladies, stop blaming my, yourself, Shem. If you had any problems with, during birth or after birth, it has nothing to do with you. You did your best for the fact that you carried this child through until his last or her last days. You're the best. And to men as well, you are doing a good job. You know, I mean, uh, when process up in my my call, I, plus the like my question I would always ask you, Guti, if a boy was born in a family, Guti, I equal right financially. If he was born public hospital and lama means of Guti mele tolege ambulance, all that I talk about the game involving mal. If he was born a family, in in equal right financial. Was it going to survive though? Let's be honest and realistic. Yes, yeah, South Africa's pillar go go see. Like I'm asking myself if we go to Google, Baba Konum Tana, Oga Zalo and Jongo Pai, Mara Gubo Bebang Eko financial right. Honestly speaking, uh, I I would say no because yo, for a boy to be where he is today, we spent more than a million. <laughs> More than a million, right. it, uh, it's and beyond and even the, the the the, the so milk me, that he takes, it's it expensive on its own. Cause Utata a milk is specific. It's a specific milk yeah. with a, a, a prebiotic, whatever they call it. Mm. It's not just any milk. And eating la boy elingaga, it's like a thousand rand, mm. and it only lasts for how many days? Cause it's just days, it's not a week. So it's 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 it's. Honestly speaking, it's not fair. Kwabanya want to be kwabanya family. Like in your schools and system in South Africa, like I think university, you know, university. Universities. I think kwanga ma public hospitals me labe njalo me, but bona ba privilege because kona i university na pa, and then ba seven sana na. But it was bad like that from my part. I, I I wish we could jail with Bong Wonka must be like seven of a professor and then in the and then the high care one I I wish we could jail. But my worry is how many people lost babies because they're not financially okay? Yo a, a lot, a lot. Besides babies, hey, uh family members. Family members. Family members under not being under a special care. So after that, Upoi came back, and then we went to the hospital. Um, we were called on the fifth of October. I'll not forget. Fifth of October. On the fifteenth of October, for him to do his major surgery. So his oh, first. Oh, yeah, we didn't say goodie. They did say goodie. They have to do your operation when he is seven months. Yeah. When he's seven months or six months, yeah. I can't recall that. They said Bazo Yen's operation, and then land le esela 
Bazoibega gas and then Bamva Lila and then they join the stomach mm. when it's a cause now it's cut back in egg, but congruence is still small. Mm-hmm. Then comes that day. Do you remember how skeptical we were? Yeah, on that day when he had, they said they will do the major surgery whereby he'll start eating normal, blah, blah, blah. They'll extend, they'll put a, a tube and try to pull down everything mm-hmm. and as a normal person. Do you remember that? We were uh, very skeptical. We were like, I. Like the previous day, go to Sasak Melesambe for an operation. Do you remember how skeptical we were? Yeah. And we were like, maybe, when are you, you were saying, Guti, I don't think it's an operation because by a shoot, maybe you will not survive the operation. Yeah. And then at the same time, I suppose I wrote, okay, when he gets old and then us play mood, why I mean, I need a song, I can't go to the And then we were like, maybe we're going to blame ourselves because we had an option to go to why it's going to be an operation. And we, we, decided, we both decided, let us go, let's do the operation. One thing about my son, uh, I don't know, he's, he's he communicates with the universe in a different way. When something bad is about to happen, he doesn't smile for the whole day. He, and he, and he, he smiles a, a lot. He's, a, he's he smiles a lot. He's mm. oh my son is a happy son. Smiles a lot. So if something is gonna happen during the day or the very same day, not if the following it's not day, okay, yeah, no, she, yeah he like died, he doesn't yeah. smile. He doesn't cry, camp, yeah. but he doesn't smile. So on that particular day when we took him for from Exane, Kawanga from Masvu, Gakatakeza. To the four hours drive, he didn't smile. He was grumpy. He was just, just grumpy him. looking at us. As we took him. We got one month just pegile, and then when I bought his mama, I know we are both paying at which why Ningi salaka is I won't survive. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, le, let's hope for the best, baby. The way I was looking at him, he, I felt like he was saying, "Mommy, where you taking me? I'm not gonna make it," you know. And I told Baba Liana, you know what? The only thing that I can do now is pray, because I can feel that he doesn't want to do this, you know. But we, we, as you were saying, we didn't want to blame each other. Yeah. And then we end the operation. The major one, Leo Gutimanje. He can eat. He's seven months, ne? Mm-hmm. We end the operation. Leo Guti can eat. And then after the operation, we have complications. Anga, gana, ni. Lot of, my son stayed oh. in an operation room for six hours. No, seven. I ain't six, two, three, four, five, six, five hours. We've been waiting. And after they performed the surgery, everything was fine after the surgery, the week before. A, a week after the surgery, he was fine. And then he was big. He was the voice. And the man because of the pains. He was crying, but you couldn't hear his voice. Yeah, but bon with your color, but I put my voice. Yeah, and after that, we were in Plumfontein. All that happened, we went back to Harrismith. And when we came back, right? When we came back to Plum again, that's when he stayed for the longest time in hospital. He started staying there. October, November, October, November, December. I remember we were hoping for December, which is going to be home He for was Christmas. never home. And then the doctor told us, guys, you have to be realistic about this. It's There's impossible. no way he's coming back. So, <laughs> why the look? I remember Sai Plum before Christmas and stuff, just to explain this card, you know, boy, I mean. And we were hoping we told, well, our baby's going to be home for Christmas, but no, he wasn't. And Christmas then, day was not okay. I remember because you were saying, it. and I was like, "Baby, there's nothing like, we can do." I was like, "Where's my son? We're having okay Christmas, there. and he's not here." Then I was not okay the whole day. Yeah, he's okay. Cause go go, I see you there. I plum after operation. He stayed, lah, for you. Oh, he stayed. Seven. We end October. October, right? November, November, December, January. Upume. Feb or Jan. Upume February. Ah, uh, uli uli anu pefte a February begang eko. Begang eko. Begala. So we stayed there. No, November, first week of December, February. January, February. So we stayed there for four months. Yeah. So we've had a boy home. For four months in total. He's one year, four months. We've had him home for four months. For four months. Yeah, ever since. So he spent a year, a year in a hospital. Yeah. And then he gets here because Bam discharged a plum. Then, and then we've moved here to him. And then Melissim land the plum as, as a law. Excited, Jabli Luti. Finally. Ah, no. What? 
They had to discharge him after his operation in Bloemfontein, right? We went there. When we got oh, there, that I too. slept there for the night. But so Sasa sent a hump. It wasn't before after such a it was after be se ba bona ukuthi ase ka ba right you know like yeah, I, I can't come guys yeah. yeah and then but this is Landa he's okay that was after the four months actually we on so after that mang figa u boy mang mang figa we are calling you called us because when we were at the hotel in Angeles Berlin and then u boy we are calling it type and we are calling it and let me bath him but he was restless man he was restless until about sister but I'm checking about all right around 4 half past 5 in the morning I'm, i wake up i try, he's a bit he's crying a bit i try to change his nappy and as i was changing his nappy i see blood all over the nappy and when i looked at him his mouth is blue It was purple, I remember. Was, and then it was I blue, purple, mm. panicked and called the sister. They came running. That was it. He went back to ICU. Only to find out that what is it? Let's talk for some time. Resuscitate. Is it resuscitate? He, he 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 went to ICU. Yeah, and then they had to. They had to wake him up, like resuscitate him. Yeah. yeah. I think it's resuscitated. So that time is it okay to say poi wa short about this? Yeah, he died actually. We were in a waiting room um tano ngale and then they said doctor, please get out. Please get out and we waited, Michelle, we waited. Oh, we waited. Doctor, no, I was being a criminal. I went to You went to, to fix the tire. No, no, being a missing motor service. Oh yeah. Being a missing motor service. But it blew me. Yeah. yeah. Then you came then, then you found me crying there then I told you that my son is dead and you said no baby and we waited we waited and the doctor came and the doctor I remember he just got then he sat down and then he took off his spectacles and he said <sighs> and then I looked at him and he said we are trying our best yeah. but he will be You are sitting there you're looking at doctors coming up and down up and down sisters and he said we are trying our best but he will be okay then he after when they said we can come he said the ICU you would see him he's like he's not up but he's up so they just woke him up and then the doctor said he, he then explained we had to resuscitate him back to life we mm-hmm. we lost him but he's back we are trying to bring him back more and then I, that was it I was just not okay boy hmm. I was just not okay yeah kumbula no yeah yeah and then yeah months went by they discharged him we brought him back to Joburg and yeah yeah guys <laughs> for now we're going to keep it there man we'll give you part two i don't know when but hey to everyone who's going through a lot to everyone who's going through a lot get pregnancy to everyone who's going through a lot raising a kid is like more premature to everyone don't know I could call you like only the special care stay strong guys like have faith keep on believing man like mm. i know some of you guys are not fortunate with some family partner can support or nothing but stay strong keep on believing man hey kulunkula benani guys like yeah we'll be back for part two, guys for now we can hold it yeah uh all we can say is keep strong and be there for each other and nani abantu beslisa make sure you find help when you get such situations because the minute you 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 realize you need help it might be too late and um try to hold each other's hands if you are alone as a single mother or as a single father it's okay uh try to be strong for your little one because when i was breaking my son was becoming more sick but when i started being strong my son became strong as well So I feel like abantu ana bethu they depend on us as parents to be strong to fight. So in life you must fight like get premature. <laughs> yeah, stay strong Scottish. Away. Ah, don't forget to subscribe. Away, away.